Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is poem 1078, and this is called Feisty. This is about a work employee and his boss, and they really don't see eye to eye on anything, and even though they're trying to be civil, they can't. Everyone in the office is constantly listening and watching to see what's about to go down, but there's something deeper to this view that makes it more interesting. Feisty. You tend to make my eyes roll. Your opinions about politics are ridiculous. When you walk in the room, you automatically come for me with dry sarcasm, which I absolutely hate. Yes, and you do this in front of all of the other employees in a meeting. Your cockiness and arrogance gets under my skin. Your cologne or aftershave is way too strong. How you know everything about every subject is beyond me. You must jot it down from Google and memorize it for later. And this inferno builds up. It's kind of hard to hide. Then comes that devious smile. You know you have this effect over me, which is even worse because you go extra at it when I'm in the room and it's just you and I. Now it's obvious. It's becoming more verbal. You're a jerk, and I'm an ass. You're a pervert, and I'm a prude. You're an idiot, and I'm stuck up. Profanity, eye rolls, and dirty looks. But of course, with a smile, since we're in the work environment. We are supposed to be adults. We're supposed to act civilized, but we're acting like children. But we just can't, because we hate each other, and this inferno builds up. It's kind of hard to hide. Especially when you know you have this effect over me. So you do it over and over and over again. In the beginning, I was a lapdog. I would get frustrated and mad. But now, I keep going at it. I keep playing your game, boss. You and those neatly ironed button-down shirts of labels. You and those silly ties. You with the black polished shoes every day. You with the perfectly shaped body, which you probably spent hours at the gym in. You with the tormenting smile that looks like Lucifer himself. Of course I'm quiet on a Monday morning, doing what I'm supposed to, and you call me in your office. But of course, you have your secretary get me. First thing you do is set a folder on the desk and tell me to close the door. Oh boy, here we go. Wonder what the problem is today. And the minute I do, he switches the light off and pushes me against the wall and pulls up my shirt as we make out while pulling my nipple ring. I guess there's a reason he got under my skin. And now I see why so much fire.